<laughs> I have to bring this up because I think this is interesting. Is back when Mike Brown got shot. Yeah. I remember I was there was a girl that I used to. Um, we were friends in high school, uh, even you know when college years started or whatnot. We were good friends. We hung out all the time. Or we all, you know, all had the same friends and stuff and whatnot. And I remember when Mike Brown got shot. Um, I remember her posting some crazy stuff online, and I just. I just remember like letting her have it and then yeah. unfriending her. And yeah. now, now Mike Brown was shot back in 2014. I think like it six was years yeah. ago, right? Mm -hmm. So, and ever since then, she's tried to befriend me on more than one occasion through different pages, yeah. and, like on different social medias or whatnot. And um, I just, you know, I was just like, I don't, you know, I want to be friends with somebody that yeah. you know, says some, you know, messed up stuff like that or whatever. I just, you know, so. Recently, my friend just sent me a message of a screenshot of what she thought or said about the, you know, the current, the last murder, you know, the last popular murder. Right. Fucked up to say, but, you know, of George Floyd or whatever. And he screenshot it and sent it to me. And here we are. I'm, I'm thinking like, damn, here we are six years later. And I haven't accepted any friend requests this entire time. I haven't tried to contact you in any way, shape, or form. I haven't tried to be your friend or whatnot. Here we are six years later, and you're still saying the same shit you were saying six years ago right. about people who look like me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this was someone who I grew up with. Like, that I considered a really good friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's just like, I don't know. It's blowing my mind, and it's it's funny. It's sad. It's funny more than anything, <laughs> to be honest, because I, I feel like I have a good sense of humor. But it is sad, and it, it is a little scary, you know what I mean, to know that the people that you, you know, she used to come to my crib. We yeah. used to all hang, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was welcome to my house. My, you know, my family was welcoming to her. All the, the whole nine, you yeah. know what I mean? It's just like, so it's, it's, it is scary and sad to know like you know i grew up with someone and then they that's that is what they embrace you know what i mean they and just need to shut the fuck up and listen yeah that's yeah. all people need to do right now and you know what i think is like funny when is I, if when I, I sat told down you. with her yeah if i had time to sit down with her mm -hmm. i feel like we'd be able to have like a conversation great conversation a great conversation yeah. i mean obviously we would we would probably have a, a debate for the first part of it or whatever but i feel like because i know her you know what I mean? Like we would try to come to to some level of understanding at some point, but she doesn't have that. She's probably yeah. surrounded herself with people that are embracing the shitty ideology that she's been spewing online this entire time, like for the last decade. You know what I mean? Or ever since she stopped hanging out with people like me. You know what I mean? So it's just like I find that interesting, and I think you know, especially in like a year or two from now, man, you're gonna start. You know, we are gonna start seeing people that were just like out of control with the shit like coming around yeah like oh my god it's already happening i didn't know it's been two yeah where, where are we at two and a half weeks two and a half weeks <laughs> dude there's a lot of i hate to say change i mean that's we need change hope and change you know it makes me think of the obama campaign and <laughs> right and a lot of that change just never came you yeah. know it, it and so i think now um you almost have that uh the you know someone like trump can galvanize the other side mm -hmm. of thinking. Mm -hmm. So where you have this closed minded herd mentality of the MAGA hat wearing folks. And, right. and, you know, I grew up with a lot of Trump supporters and mm -hmm. I love those people. They're not bad people. And, and, you know, I personally am not a fan of Trump, but I'm also not a fan of Joe Biden either. <laughs> I think we're Same. fucking, I wasn't a fan. I, I, I haven't been a fan of, uh, of any politician, <laughs> Hillary Clinton, I mean, I a fan she of was of them for, for sure corrupt as hell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Whether it was Mitt Romney before that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't right. vibe with, I mean, I was going to vote for Bernie or t probably Tulsi Gabbard more than any of those people, uh, <laughs> any of the Democratic Party. Yeah. Um, and, well, uh, you know, Angela Davis, she was interviewed uh, back in 2017, I think, or 2018, and she was asked about politics yeah. and stuff like that and what she thought about, you know, Republicans, Democrats, you know, whatever. And she said, uh, she said, honestly, I'm going to be frank with you. She was like, there needs to be a completely new party. Mm. She was third like, party. Because, yeah, third party. Because For sure. right now, these parties do not address the uh, issues that are plaguing the majority of the people it's that live so here. It's so left and right yeah. and you versus me. Yeah. And 
And it's like, if you don't it's fall like, over here, then you're not with us. Right. You're against us. Well, dude, I'm like kind of a left-leaning libertarian <laughs> where I'm like, hey, let me start a business, run a business. I'm not going to fuck with you. If <laughs> I want to have a gun, I should be able to have a gun. If I want to start a bit, leave me alone. Yeah. I don't want to mess with you. You're gay. Cool. I don't <laughs> care. I don't care what your sexuality is. I really, really don't. Right. But I also don't want poor people to struggle. I right. don't want disenfranchised youth to. I want programs for youth. I want to, you know, there's, right. um, you know, the, some things that the the left over, you know, your far right folks and and, you know, we can talk about the welfare system and how it, it probably doesn't work all that well. Mm -hmm. Not to say that we shouldn't have something. We right. need something to help people. Like I was telling you on the phone, oh, just pick up, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. With Some no people strap. don't have bootstraps. <laughs> no strap. they, there is no strap <laughs> on the boot to pull up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, so you can't just say pick yeah. yourself, you know, there's well, I think next, everyone's I, had help in life. Yeah. Well, I everyone. Think, I think next is uh, you know next is reparations. You know what I'm saying? Like we need to be talking about I, reparations I, for, for descendants of slaves. I've heard that be brought up by God. I can't remember. It was just recently. Yeah, there was somebody proposed. Um, I, Jewish couple people billion, got it for the Holocaust. Yeah. Indians got it for reservations. Like every single demographic of people that have been put through fucked up shit like slavery, which is slavery is like probably the worst. Yeah. But they've all been compensated take some of that COVID-19 CARES Act money that all those big right. corporations got and those banks got and the airline companies take that some of that money yeah. and, <laughs> and go towards slavery <laughs> slavery reparations right. like, 